Hi, my name is Doug. Welcome to Third Style Garage. This is episode 20 of a restoration of a 66 Mustang convertible named Vin. Uh, on this episode, we're going to be welding in the fender aprons or the fender panels, all four of them in the car. Um, they're all located, measured, square, centered, exactly where I want them, except for this one, it's in my hand. Uh, if you want to learn how I set the engine compartment, I encourage you to go back and watch a couple previous episodes. If you're wondering about how I leveled and squared the frame, go back way towards the beginning of the series. You can learn about that. This is going to be about the installation of the fender aprons. Uh, if you like stuff like this, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel. That helps me. I'm doing the channel because I'd love to help you and I want to be part of the restoration community. Uh, but I would love it if you'd hit the subscribe the thumbs up button and uh, thanks for being part of Third Style Garage. Stay tuned to see how I install these. I'm starting with the rear passenger fender apron. Now I've got the, the apron right here all ready to go. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, I'm going to mount it in here uh, before I weld it and it is previously located again I mentioned a couple earlier episodes but I've got a sheet metal screw here one two three the fourth one goes into there and the fifth one goes into this 40 inch spacer between my two foot hinges uh, plus I have two bolts that go into these one of these two bolts that hold the cover over the struts or the, the shocks, uh, shocks and coil springs on. That will allow me to have confidence that I'm returning the fender apron to the exact same place it was. Um, once I get those welded in, I'm gonna take those sheet metal screws out, fill those holes with weld, blend them in, you'll never know that they're there. In order to prep this to weld it in, there's a spot along the fender wall here uh, I'm not 100% sure that the primer on this firewall is weld through primer. So I took my grinder, uh, ground the primer off, sprayed it through with the zinc weld through primer, uh, which I have right here. I mentioned it in the previous episode as well, but it's 3M weld through two. There's the part number. Um, find this stuff pretty easy to work with it dries quickly two quick coats on it 15 minutes later you can weld um, I actually put some on a piece then needed to grind through from the back side which is fun to watch because as my grinding wheel cut through I never saw the weld through primer bubble or melt or whatever it, it held up really well so this surface the surface along the inside of my frame rail and the surface along the inside of my shock tower, ground that all smooth, covered it with weld through primer. And then on this surface, which is where my plug welds will go, I ground that through so I've got good clean metal there, bared the back side, sprayed that with weld through primer. Uh, it did not spray this side because this is where my plug welds are gonna go and uh, I'll grind that off afterwards so it would have been a waste of the primer. So this panel's ready to go. I'll put it in, it'll be located. We'll be able to weld it in. Possibly the hardest part of this is figuring out how to get your old body into the engine compartment. So the inner welds are done. Now I'm going to do these plug welds along this edge. Because this flange is a little bit smaller, I did a quarter inch hole instead of the 9 16 or 9 32 I forget which it is. Um, also, 
it fits really nice all along here until right there there's a little gap. So I'm gonna weld from the top down and then when after I finish this one, I'm gonna use the hammer and uh, kind of snug these up against the firewall and then I'll weld those last. Apron one is done. Welds are cleaned up. Looks pretty good, nice and solid. Clean up the welds lightly on the inside here. Uh, I am happy with the way that came out. It does feel really good to have one fender apron done, but it'll feel even better once I get more. I think I'll work on the driver's side rear fender apron next. Boy, it'd be nice if it just went the snap of a finger. It's like... Wow, that was sweet. Let's try that again. Whoa, all right, bada boom, bada bing. Look at that, amazing. Okay. Wouldn't it be sweet if it happened that fast? So it feels really good. I have, uh, I needed to move this bracket 900 thousandths, just under an inch that way. So I cut off the spot welds, moved it over, plug welded it in. Um, here you can see the back side of my plug welds and see where it attached to the firewall. This joint where the front frame rail attaches to the torque box, uh, I needed to sever that joint to straighten the frame rail. Uh, if you want to learn about how I did that or straightened it, uh, there's earlier episodes in the series, uh, probably within the first half dozen or so. So all the plug welds are in and ground down. Feel really good about the way that they came out. Um, not that by no means perfect, but shoot, I think spray this engine compartment someday and it's going to look fantastic. Um, yeah, welds in all the way around there. Um, I was happy the way these corners came out. Uh, the replacement metal seemed to blend well with the original radiator frame that's in there. Um, I was able to do plug welds all the way along the back here. You can see the back of these plug welds as well. And there's where it welded to the firewall too. Um, I did need to go in after I burned those and just blend down the back side of these because when I welded through, it kind of uh, bubbled slightly. Uh, from the weld from the other side. So if you remember earlier in this process, I cut three quarters to an inch off of this fender liner and I shouldn't have. So now I am paying my penance by having to uh, fabricate this little piece. I will weld it, weld these two together, blend this surface. That will be a plug weld there, plug weld there, plug weld there blend this out after it's done i'll dolly it smooth make sure it all lays flat the other piece that i need to do is the clamp is in the way but this flange on this piece this one sticks down lower oh there you can see it there there's a gap or there's a step right here so i think after i weld this in I will need to, it'll sit right about like that. I'll need to blend to this level. And then this will look like a factory edge. So I will butt weld this, plug weld those, blend it in, and hopefully 
I will be the only one to ever know that I made that mistake, except for you. So guys, I am happy with that. I'll give myself two thumbs up on this project. You will notice that the cowl is missing and that is next week's project. I have the cowl getting prepped here, painted, did some seam sealing on that, painted the underside too, and uh, stay tuned to learn more about that next episode. Thanks for being part of Third Style Garage, guys. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.